like cooking and like making food for people. I think it's like a really uh, small way that I can package up like some sort of joy and give it to people. Always been doing dinner parties, cooking for friends. It had always been like a big part of what I was doing. So I think I just decided at one point that it, that's what I want to do as a career. Um, I never thought that I would be a chef, to be very honest. So, um, I chose this profession just because for my visa purpose, just to get through my permanent residency in Australia. People know like what good tasting food looks like. And I think like food looks good when it tastes good. Um, obviously there's like ways of getting that and there's a lot of food that tastes good that doesn't really look that good. But um, I think like if you make something just look delicious and you put it on a plate, even if you're not doing all the fancy stuff, I think it still looks really good. Food needs to be like really good for the first place. And the presentation is the second thing for me. Like uh, whenever we plate something, customer gets the food and uh, they will eat the food through their eyes first. And yeah, it's very important in, in, in like hospitality because these days people like to post anything in the social media rather than eating their food. They do first is they take photos and everything. So I would say presentation is very important, but at the same time, like test is always very important. I don't know, like, it's funny watching that for me now, seeing like 90 minutes to create one dish. And it's just, I think that is so disconnected from what we do as a commercial cook, because in no time in like your work in a commercial kitchen, are you going to have like, 90 minutes to just make one dish for one customer because it's just you'll never make any money in a restaurant doing that so in the celebrity chef cooking they just have a limited time to cook in a certain time frame but in a commercial kitchen we do have a uh, lots of time to do the prep and other kinds of thing yeah. um i agree with Savannah in this thing because um celebrity chef is to do for fun but when you come to the real world when you work in the kitchen it's very different um, so in kitchen you'll have more stress I think because you have to do everything on time otherwise you'll make your customers sad but in celebrity chef it's very different you're just doing it for the viewers as well I found in Tasmania like when you get to know a few chefs from a few different places it's really easy to find more and more jobs and get more and more opportunities because everyone in this industry down here knows each other um, I don't think so because Mainland is very big, there are many people, many opportunities, but when you come to Tazi, it's kind of different because you have less opportunities here to work as a chef because it's very a small kind of town in Hobart and they have limited restaurants like cafes and then they more populated than like more businesses. But compared to like uh, like five years ago I came here, that time there was no opportunity as well. As I compared like uh, five years ago and today, I see more opportunities than the mainland because people are moving, like he said, for the visas and everything. Yeah. So people come here for the visa. Yeah. So they need to do the work and then most of the people will create new ideas. I mean, I've never worked on the mainland personally. Um, I've always worked here in Tasmania. I think it seems like there's a lot more competition from what I've heard on the mainland and there's a lot more people moving between different restaurants and um, just like working a lot of different places. Um, whereas in Tasmania, I think there's a bit more like stability. I think from the international student's point of view, um, yeah, I would, I, would, I would really suggest the young comers to do chefs and it's very interesting as well because you cook and then you'll be happy when customers say like the food was very good. Pro like uh, it's really fun to work like you can do lots of things yeah. and you can learn lo so many things, things and you can make people happy by your cooking. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. You're a young person and you enjoy like doing cooking and working as a part of a small team, I would 100% recommend it. If you don't like cooking, probably not because you're going to burn yourself out really quickly um, and you don't get 
paid as much as any other trade, so... <laughs>